A metro train driver has blown the whistle on the ageing city loop, saying it's only a matter of time before there's a major disaster. Justine McKenzie joins us now from Southern Cross Station. Justine, these are pretty serious claims. They are, Pete, especially when you consider that tens of thousands of people go through the tunnel every day. Now, this train driver that we've spoken to, he really has risked everything to speak with us. He faces losing his job for speaking out on this issue. But as you're about to see, he really does feel that strongly about it. And he's hoping that by speaking out, it'll help bring about some kind of change so that there could be some kind of action to make the loop safer. Inside the bowels of the tunnel, there's water on the rails, on the walls, cracks and corrosion. Train driver John fears he'll lose his job for speaking out, but says he's even more fearful about the potential for disaster. I tell my family and friends not to travel through the loop. That's, that's about as safe as I think it is. He's not the only one concerned. At least two independent reports have found serious structural problems. Uh, these reports appear to raise legitimate concerns about what would happen in an emergency. One concludes at worst a derailment could be possible. Another raises problems with emergency evacuations, that the exits are locked, that the walkways aren't wide enough to accommodate a wheelchair. Uh, elderly and disabled passengers are pretty much dead. In a statement, Metro says it's currently in the process of a tunnel infrastructure rehabilitation process and that process is well underway. Extensive tests carried out by Metro have not found any serious safety issues. The Transport Minister is satisfied with the response. I've sought and I've gained assurances this morning that there have been inspections carried out, that the structure is safe. John, on the other hand, isn't convinced. It's not a matter of if, it's when. It, it will happen. There will be a disaster in the loop and uh, they have no emergency response plan. Justine McKenzie, Nine News.